Welcome to Ben TV. This is Ben from Benjamin Franklin Plumbing. Is there anything more annoying than the constant running of a leaky toilet? It's noticeable and irritating, and it can waste thousands of gallons of water in one year. Today, I'm going to share with you the six steps to fix in that leaky toilet. Step one, before taking your toilet apart, make sure all of your connections are tightened. Don't tighten any plastic parts too tight. You don't want to crack them. Now, if the leak persists, do your best to determine where exactly on the toilet the leak is stemming from. Step two, if the leak is from the fill valve, turn off the water supply and flush the tank to drain it. Use a wrench to disconnect the supply tube coupling nut and remove the fill valve's mounting nut. Always be mindful of the pressure you're using so as not to damage anything. Lift out the fill valve to clean the gasket and washer. If either is broken or dried out, replace it. Step three, reseat the valve, carefully centering it in the hole and holding it vertical as you tighten the mounting nut about a half turn past the point of full contact. Be careful to avoid crossing the threads and damaging the valve. Reinstall the water supply tube and turn on the water to test it. If necessary, Tighten the mounting nut a little more, but not too much. Step four, for leaks at the flush valve, remove the tank's mounting bolts using a large standard screwdriver on the bolt and either a socket wrench or channel type pliers on the nut. With the tank upside down, pull or twist off the rubber spud washer and use a spud wrench to unscrew the large locking nut from the flush valve. Step five, Lay the tank on its side and remove the flush valve. Handle the tank with care. If you break it, you'll need to buy a whole new toilet. Now, remove the beveled cone washer from the flush valve. Clean it and the spud washer with a soapy sponge. You may need to replace them if they're in poor condition. Step six, reverse the procedure to reinstall the tank. Make sure the beveled side of the cone washer is facing the tank's inside and the beveled side of the spud washer is facing the bowl. After you're done repairing the toilet, turn your water supply back on. Those are the six steps to repairing a leaky toilet. If you encounter any troubles, we're standing by to help. Give us a call. You can always count on receiving 100% satisfaction with Benjamin Franklin Plumbing, guaranteeing you that if there is any delay, it's you we pay. This is Ben from Benjamin Franklin Plumbing and Ben TV. Until next time, be safe out there.